many a times i have discussed on a point that it is very important for you to address your past memories i'm talking about those memories which are unhelpful and there is a reason for it uh often and or many people they have a idea they have an idea they have a notion that they can't do much about their past memories especially again those memories which are unhelpful unhealthy painful memories embarrassing memories not so good memories right so many people they believe that they can't do much about such past memories it had already happened in the past that is absolutely correct but at the same time such people they believe that all right what i can do is i know some memories are haunting me or some memories are disturbing me that is memories unhelpful memories of the past so let's bury this memories deep in my mind let's repress it so i'll try to not think about it and i'll try to just bury them in the ground and make my efforts uh, not to get disturbed by it but me being a mental health practitioner i would like to point out that this is not a good idea you can repress your unhelpful past memories means you can bury such unhelpful past memories in your mind but it will not be helpful it will remain unhelpful for you you will not be getting any benefit from burying such unhelpful past memories repressing them and trying your best not to talk about it trying your best not to think about it why the reason being even if you bury such memories even if you uh, repress this memories many a times this memories will pop up in your mind some most of the times in an unconscious way right at least about those memories which are way beyond in the past such memories gets buried in your unconscious mind means once you bury them so many a times such memories will pop up in your mind in your life in your present life from an unconscious level and it will disturb you many a times you will not be able to understand the reason that why am i feeling depressed in this situation this situation is new for me why am i feeling tensed meeting this person i never met this person in my life then but why am i feeling tensed all of a sudden when i just look at this person you will find that okay i just went to a place and this place is just creating some unnecessary uneasiness uneasiness in my mind i don't know why again i'm new to this place everybody suggested me that i should uh, make a trip to this place but now i'm seeing that it is creating some uneasiness some disturbance in my mind and i don't know the reason why the reason for all of these things is your mind is linking your present situations to your past memories in an unconscious way when it happens in an unconscious way you don't know the reason you are not aware of the reason why you feel that disturbance why you suddenly feel alone lonely why you suddenly feel depressed why you suddenly feel very low on energy levels it's because of these unhelpful past memories popping up in your mind but in an unconscious way so you are not being aware of it but still it is those past memories 
which is creating these disturbances. So how will you get benefit from this problem? Or how will you get the solution from this problem? How will you, how will you get benefit by addressing this problem? So there is a particular tool in the world of psychology and that is the Johari window. Here in this Johari window, there is a, you know, a human or just a person can analyze himself from four aspects. It is how a particular person is looking at himself or herself from these four aspects and how others are also looking at that same person from these four aspects. So I have written an article about this exact same concept of how you can address this problem, how you can make peace with your past using the Johari window. So when you will be able to understand this tool, when you will be able to use it in your own way, in your own circumstances, in your own situations, you will be able to first of all, acknowledge, first of all, be aware. Okay. First of all, you will be, you will be aware about what are those unhelpful memories that are creating disturbances in your present life. Second, you will acknowledge it that, okay, these memories are actually unhelpful and I had initially buried it in my mind. I had repressed it somehow. Now what it is happening, it, it is again showing up, but I'm not being aware of it. It is showing up in an unconscious way. So I am unknown of these factors. This is especially the unknown part or the unknown aspect of that Johari window. So once you read that article that I had written, you will be able to understand it in a very, very simple way. You will be able to understand it and also apply it in your life. I have written that in such a way that each and every person will be able to utilize this knowledge, this information, and at the same time, apply it, imply it in your life so that you can get the benefit of it. Again, I'm repeating the same thing. You have to make peace with your past and then you need to move forward. The moment you make peace with your past and I'm talking about those unhelpful, painful, embarrassing, uh, some sort of extreme challenging or struggling, a struggle filled memories, uh, unhealthy memories. So such memories, you need to make peace with them. You have to acknowledge them that, okay, fine. It had happened. It had happened. Now I have moved far and beyond from all these things. So this in this particular way, you will be making peace with your past, but it is again, it is not a one or two line process. You need to make efforts. You need to give certain dedication. You need to have certain sincerity towards understanding this knowledge of Johari window and then applying it again. What I feel is that whatever I tell you, whatever, whatever I preach, that is the concepts of emotional and mental health, the various techniques, the various tools. All these are not miraculous tool means you can't just expect that. Okay. Once I had applied it at one time, immediately I will get the results. It doesn't happen like that. You need to keep on, even if you're not getting the result after, you know, practicing one tool or two tools for one time, you do it for two times. You do it for three times. Slowly and slowly, you will be able to understand it that you are getting the results and all of these techniques then will become a part of your life. You yourself will become a practitioner of such 
mental health techniques and tools so first of all you are benefiting your own self and then you are also teaching others so that others can also benefit from whatever you had learned and understood practically all right so this is what i wanted to discuss in this particular video you again and i'm repeating the same thing i'll not be getting uh stressed i'll not be getting tired even if i tell this thing for 1000 or even 1 lakh times you need to make peace with your unhelpful past memories and you need to have that belief that confidence that you have moved forward in a very positive way in a very optimistic way in a brand new way in a better way in a more empowering way and all those memories are just memories and they are in the past and in no way whatsoever mem such memories will ever come back into your life into your mind actually and will disturb you and for you to have this self belief you need to practice this technique and tool of the johari window i'll share the article link in the description of this particular video so that you can go through it and again i'm saying the same thing in this particular uh, aspect also that even if you don't get the result after doing it for one time after doing this particular exercise for one time or two times you keep on doing it these are all proven concepts right practical concepts that millions of people have already got benefit from it these are basically the foundations of school of psychological thoughts so when others have got benefit you will also get the benefit but the thing is that the time varies others might have got it very quickly you might get it late or some people have got it late you might get it quickly right but you need to sincerely keep on practicing sincerely keep on uh, you know practicing it being a practitioner of such techniques and tools and i have written the article in a very simple way in a very very practical way and in a very knowledgeable way so you will be getting knowledge out of it you will be getting information out of it and also you will know the way by which you will be able to practice this in your own life and get the benefit out of it all right okay so thank you and have a nice day